overcast night here in Southern California as we welcome you inside Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Joe Musgrove will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, taking a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little under four last season. But I think his team and organization, they're expecting some bigger and better things out of him this year. We'll see if he can get off to a better start in this one. And now, Cattel Marte. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Temperature starting to drop as the sun goes down. 56 degrees here at first pitch. Once again, a 3 2. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And that's just an incredible job at the plate by the leadoff man there. Not only did he make the pitcher throw a ton of pitchers and bust his tail, but he also won the battle and earned a free pass. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's one for four. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Marte on at first. Nobody out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Wow, throw a 10 over it and bring out the clown. <laughs> Look like a three-ring circus out there. One outfielder mistimes his jump, and the ball gets past him. His buddy has to back him up and get the ball in. A good thing, too. Otherwise, it could have been a triple or even an inside the parker. Into the box now, Joe Broadway. And that misses two and two. So look now the pitch turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. Hey that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch and if he's got that going especially early it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. Squared that one up just a little late. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location right down the middle but he got away with it. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you gotta find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Only play will be the first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one-nothing ball game. A really good team at that right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does just that, gets the ground ball, and brings home the first run of the game from third. One out and a runner on third. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive.
Another 1-2 delivery. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That, that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Stepping in now, Steve Finley. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Guys, the swing and friars as they take the field here tonight are coming off a good victory here in front of the home faithful on opening day. Yeah, Matty, I know it's a long season, but they were able to win the opener, and nothing would be sweeter if you could get in your car today and drive Ball home 2-0. Oh. This is a big game. This is a nice little momentum either way. Another win here, and they're going to be feeling great about where they're at. The set and the 3 1 pitch fouled away. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly on to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Only one in the inning for Arizona. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Diamondbacks one. The Padres coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Zach Gallen is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy had a real solid season last year. ERA under three on the year, which is pretty good in this day and age of high scoring and a lot of home runs. Let's see if he can duplicate that year and make this one just as good. It'll be interesting to see how he pitches in this one today. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action okay. pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Payoff pitch home. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Throw work. To the plate now, Jake Cronenworth. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Yeah, Maddie, they need to grab this one today. You don't want to drop the first two games of the season. I don't That's care if it's on the road. I know you're going to have to battle, play well at home. You can't afford to get on the team bus back to the hotel 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part down. of the strike zone. Three, Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Now here's the pitch. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up Batting with third. an opportunity to Not do some damage. Top. So that when you strike enough. both of them Not out, hit. you're putting yourself in a pretty Junior. good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. In now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Good swing just a little early, and they'll see another payoff pitch. Two out, nobody on. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder going back, still ranging back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him. And with it, the Padres have drawn even at one run apiece. Well, as 
offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. Sent out of here in a hurry. Standing in now, Ryan Quesco. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marte gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. The Padres get one in the inning, and it comes on the solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, all tied at one and one. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Eduardo Escobar. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed now, for strike number two. two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Eduardo Escobar becomes the first out of the Carson. inning. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Carson Kelly. The 1 1. Misses for the yeah, second ball. ball. He was finally able to lay off one there. He swung it two out of the zone before that, so clearly he wasn't picking up the ball very well. Three balls nope. and a strike to Carson Kelly. I got three Christian three Walker, balls, the number strike. eight hitter here, waits on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Tatis trying to get there. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Boy, he showed some hit. pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. At the plate, Christian Walker. Well, too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Three and two now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied one apiece. Here's Manny Machado now. in the air out to center field. Finley is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That exists. All right. The Here's the defensive alignment Real. for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Fire. And when you talk about third base, you talk about a step and a dive. But you better have something to go with it when you get to your knees. And that's what this guy has. An absolute howitzer. At the plate now, Will Myers. And he nope. takes one that off the nice. inside corner for ball two. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on He's first out. for the out, three unassisted. Batting seven. The center fielder, Trent. In the hit will be Trent Grisham, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Padres down in order. Through two, we're tied one apiece. Now to bat, Zach Gallen, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 
one 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 and two now Ball two. and two and two you certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Now I know he struck out there but for a pitcher that's a pretty solid at that. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches that's a quality A.B. in my book. So now to the plate Patel Marte. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. Up he looks really back. sharp out there, guys. The second baseman, Adubo Cabrera. Into the box now as Drubal Cabrera. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So one, two, three go to Diamondbacks. After two and a half, it remains a one one ball game. Bring up Austin Nola. The one two. Ball two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and nope. play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can no afford pitcher. to do is walk the no. leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Joe Musgrove. Now the one and one pitch is a strike. Missed the sacrifice attempt that time. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. One sign still on on one and two, and he gets this one down. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Well, he took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call.
In now, Tony Gwynn. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. Noah rounds third and is digging for the plate. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Now nice that. job there. Yeah, the you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. To the plate now, Jake Cronenworth fouled away. Musgrove on third. Gwynn stands at second. No outs. Pulled toward right center field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Boy, this guy right here with that last A.B. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it out to center field, I might have to think pitching this guy down and away down on the corner. In there, one and two now. Still only one out in the inning. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Three runs already home here. And he fouls this one off. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on just one hit in the inning, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top of inning number four. The Padres on top, four to one. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Joe Broadway. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Two balls and a strike to count. short reined in throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth next will be the cleanup hitter Luis Gonzalez struck out in his last trip to the plate yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. There's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. So next to bat will be Steve Finley. He bounced out last time up. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Now a curveball misses inside. Now this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. 
Set to deal on two and two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. Lined hard to center field. Grisham is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The batter, number five, shortstop, Eduardo Escobar. Here's Eduardo Escobar looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. A payoff pitch one more time. Fouled off. Pulled high in the air out to right field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks, and this is still a 4 1 ball game. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already put four runs on the board, and they've done so by running up their opponent's pitch count. So he said he thinks they're going to have a lot more opportunities to score because of that as the game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Manny Machado. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And this is hauled in on the run for the out. And he had a lot of ground to cover to get to that one. Will Myers. So here's Will Myers. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Four runs, just two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Digging in now for San Diego. Trent Grisham struck out in his first at bat. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Two out, nobody on. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Yeah, full count, count full now. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Oni pops it up. Broadway has room in foul territory. And he dives, but he can't make the play. It lands foul. The next three, two. 
This is on the ground over to first. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Three up, three down for San Diego. But they lead it four to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it feels like every at-bat has been an incredible battle, full count after full count. And he said eventually that absolutely wears the pitchers out on the other side, which should result in more offense for them as the game progresses. Your attention, please. Okay, thank now you, Heidi. Chris Paddock play. is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first Chris. appearance of this young season. Paddock. Into the box, Carson Kelly, his career numbers against this pitcher. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. One one. Oh, that counts. Paddock is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Hit to first. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now batting. The first baseman. Christian Walker. Up next for Arizona, Christian Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fifth inning here in a 4 to 1 ball game. Down to three Swing and a miss as he goes back to the cutter here. 3 and 2. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality AB and get this line going. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Myers going back. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Diamondbacks have cut the gap to 4-2 now. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. Stepping in now, Zach Gallen. Hit on the ground to third. And that's the second out. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Digging in, the switch hitter, Patel Marte. Lifetime versus this arm. He's batting 500, 6 for 12. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, oh. gets him, and the side is retired. One for the Diamondbacks, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the Padres four and the Diamondbacks two. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Austin Nova.
Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor now sharp from what I can no tell. Pitcher. So I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Eric Hosmer will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. Number 32, Eric Hosmer. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Marte is in his tracks now. And that's out number two. Now batting right fielder. Tony Gwynn. The San Diego batting order turns over and set to go. Tony Gwynn. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Uh, hey, D Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple Number of nine. runs early already in this Second game, baseman. and now he gives up the two out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two out knocks are the answer, then so be it. Standing in now, Jake Cronenworth. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's five to two. Now this is the way you want to start off the series. We haven't even hit the weekend yet, and he's on the board again. This time with a double. This is going to be a good four-game set for him if he can keep this up. Late now, Fernando Tatis Jr. Okay. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good battle. Count remains full. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, And that ends the inning. Padres pick up a run on the RBI double. We're through five innings here tonight. It's now 5-2 San Diego. Tim Hill will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. And stepping in as Dribble Cabrera, one for two in the ballgame thus far. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batting the third baseman, Joe Broadway. Now it'll be Joe Broadway grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Ball three. Three and two now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And 
goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot to right center. Home run number three here in the early going, and it's a 5-3 game now. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. At the plate, Luis Gonzalez. High in the air out to center field. Grisham is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. The center fielder, number 12, Steve Finley. Next up, Steve Finley. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Three runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Three balls and a strike to Finley. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. And that one is gone. On a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot down the line in right. First home run of the campaign for him. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that'll get people talking. Now, Eduardo Escobar fouled off. Here comes the one two. Fouled away. Swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Padres five and the Diamondbacks four. Number 55 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 55. Bottom of the inning now, and up next will be Ryan Klesko. Here it comes. Ball, that pitches out. Action now in the Arizona bullpen as they have a right-hander up and throwing. Now the 2-1. Hit out towards second. Cabrera's up with it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now back, the third baseman, Manny Machado. And in steps Manny Machado. No hits to this point. Hits are now even at four apiece. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. 
And there are two away now. Number five, Will Myers. Here's Will Myers. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hits sharply toward the right side. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Craig Stammen will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 34, Greg. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Carson Kelly. One one makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. The one two. Badly, it's ball two. And he fouls this one off. Two, two, one more time. Pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. to the plate now Christian Walker one and two now as that one's fouled off he's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here ready on one and two I got to count two and two this one inside and that'll run things full three and two one thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count he's had to use 14 pitches already on them and he's not even through this guy yet 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning and he strikes him out as well so two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen well this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there that's the fourth time he struck out and we're only in the second game of this series Josh Reddick will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 22, Josh Reddick. The 3 1. He's in there for strike number two. Three balls, two strikes.
and he lays off That's ball awful. four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Up next to the Diamondbacks, Emilio right Pagan will come on in relief as he'll make Mark his Hanks. second appearance Your of the season please. so far. Now pitching for the Padres, number 14, Emilio Pagan. Patel Marte will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Reddick leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Turned on down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Myers is under it and he's got it for the final out of the frame. Ladies One left for Arizona and the deficit the holds at five to four. Stretch. Noah Ramirez will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Into the box is Trent Grisham. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now that the Next guessing. to the plate for the Padres, okay. Austin Nova. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that will find its way into center field for a one out hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitch are not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Tommy Pham will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Tommy Pham. No nope. offer on okay. that one. Two balls and a strike. No. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Set. Here's the 3 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Ground ball right side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantage of hitting with that ball between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw it where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Into the box now, Tony Gwynn. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. One two. This is on the ground over the first. To second for one. On to first. Oh, not in time as he just hits the bag ahead of the throw. Great Come job on. of hustle there by the base runner. That, could that looked play. like an easy inning ending double play. Now runners at first and third with two outs. So now to the plate, Jake Cronenworth. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. 
Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Softly hit to short. He's got it. And the two out threat yeah. won't pay off. The inning is over. Padres leave a pair. They lead it five to four. Trevor Hoffman has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51, Trevor Hoffman. Leading off the inning, it'll be as Dribble Cabrera, and they could use a spark from him here. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty B, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, Dero, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs that's going to win the ball. Now that first base. Go. Broadway. Next, here is Joe Broadway. Two RBIs already. Looking for more here. One out, nobody on. Swung on and chopped up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in He's time out. at first for route number two. The left fielder, number 20. The Gonzalo. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Luis Gonzalez, flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Diamondbacks down in order. Still down to run. It's 5-4. Taylor Clark is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Taylor Clark. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. The 2-2. Is swung on and missed strike three. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning the of a one-run game, that's a really ahead. nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Into the box, Ryan Klesko. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the, the pen to start this inning. 13. That's back-to-back -back K's, Maddie. and he's making it look pretty easy. Mad this has Cotto. the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Manny Machado. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays <laughs> off it to even the count two and two. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. The two two. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Padres down in order. They hold on to a 5-4 lead.
Keith Bell takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 21, Keith. Steve Finley strided one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. One one is in there for the second strike. Plain to see right there that the manager is sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. And a swing as he pulls this one into right, and that will be a base hit. So they couldn't ask for more as the possible time runs aboard to kick off the night. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. At the plate now, Eduardo Escobar. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Really important time for a strikeout there, guys. Time run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. And now Carson Kelly in the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Popped him up. Nola waits on it. Two gone. Walker. Up next, Christian Walker. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Now a crowd of 31,000 plus come to their feet. To two balls and two strikes now. Finley, the runner at first with two gone. Arizona down to its last strike. Swing and he rockets this one down the left field line. And that will hop over the wall and a tough break there as the time run will have to go back to third on the automatic double. Wow, if that ball stays in the park, we've definitely got ourselves a tie game. But it hops over and the runner has to go back to third. That's a bad break. And now they'll have to find another way to get this game tied. away put that in the memory bank first time he breaks out a curveball right there and it's a pretty good one trying to hold the lead here's the delivery nope. hey this isn't going to be an easy save these guys are making it work for this one big spot two out possible tying and go ahead runs on base That one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. He set the three-two. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Myers. 
And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Well, never a dull moment in this one, especially in the ninth inning as the tying run is stranded on third and the winning run is left on second. Anybody's game until the very last pitch. Now I can finally breathe a little bit. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The Friars led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Chris Paddock claims the win out of the pen, his first. Keith Bell wraps it up for the save, his second. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious San Diego Padres, five runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Diamondbacks, four runs on six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please Drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.